You read that title right guys, Dinosaur of the Month is officially back. If you guys aren't familiar with Dinosaur of the Month, it was a series I used to do here on the channel where each month I would talk about a weird newly discovered dinosaur. I would just list a bunch of fun facts about the dinosaur and primarily talk about some weird feature it had, whether it was something physical or maybe something about its name or how it died. I actually liked doing this series because it offered a more informational aspect to my channel, something that I wanted to do before but I ended up cancelling it because it wasn't doing too well as far as views and at the time I wanted to spend more time on content you guys actually wanted to watch. But now that I'm doing a bunch of random stuff right now on the channel, I figured why not bring it back. But if this series is going to come back, there is going to be at least one major change, and that is this series is no longer going to be exclusive to only newly discovered dinosaurs, since that's kind of how I used to run it. I want to talk about all the weird finds and theories based on the history of dinosaurs, whether it's past or present. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the dinosaur we're going to be talking about today. The first thing you should know is this is not necessarily a specific dinosaur that we're talking about, but it's more of a theory. A strange one too. This is a theory that sauropods possibly had trunks protruding from their faces. I first heard about this through a YouTube video made by Henry the Paleo Guy. The video was really well done and no doubt better than this one, so stop watching this video and watch his video instead. For those of you who've decided to stay, I'm seriously questioning your sanity right now. Anyways, apparently this theory came from a research paper written in 1975 by a Walter Coombs, who theorized that some sauropods may have had trunks due to the similarities of their nostril bones they shared with certain mammals. These similarities include the size, shape, and placement of the nostril bones. Now because trunks are not made up of any bones, but rather of muscle, flesh, and fat, none of which can actually be preserved like bones, we can't 100% say for sure that sauropods didn't have trunks, but there are several pieces of evidence that points towards why this theory wouldn't work and why it's highly unlikely to outright impossible sauropods had trunks. The first piece is that the overall skull shape of a sauropod is completely different from that of mammals that have trunks or proboscises. Sauropods, at least most of them, were known to have had a broad skull shape, especially at their snouts. Animals that have proboscises like elephants and tapirs have narrow snouts, as their trunks are supposed to be the follow-up or extension of the snouts. Again, sauropods lacked a narrow snout. The second reason is a bit more obvious. The ancestral predecessors of animals like elephants and tapirs had developed trunks as a way to gather food. The same could be said for sauropods, but instead of developing trunks, they had developed long necks to reach higher food sources. So the question is, if sauropods have already had the development of long necks as a way to help gather food from long ranges, what purpose would their trunks have had given sauropods had developed trunks? Simple, nothing. And finally, the lack of specific facial muscles. In mammals, there's a group of muscles that's part of the upper lip and nose area to make up a trunk. These muscles leave obvious attachment areas on the animal's skull, which are typically in the form of lumps and bumps that are completely visible. And as you probably already guessed, sauropods lack this feature as well. Now there are some more evidence that points towards why this theory wouldn't work, but these seem to be the major ones that are enough to completely debunk it. And as strange as this concept is, there apparently wasn't much of a following or history behind it. It seems this idea was first mentioned in Walter Coombs' 1975 paper. Then five years later, a book written by Robert Long and Samuel Wells called All New Dinosaurs and Their Friends actually featured a picture of a sauropod with a small trunk. Then in 1986, Robert Backer had illustrated a trunk Diplodocus in his book called The Dinosaur Heresies. Apparently it had made other appearances as well, but I can't actually find any evidence of it, so I can't be 100% sure. If you guys have any more information on possible appearances or places this idea has been shown or mentioned, let me know in the comments down below. But that's pretty much it guys, this definitely was a weird theory to research on, but an interesting one nonetheless. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I know that it was actually really short, surprisingly. I figured there'd be more information behind something like this, seeing how it was a, a very interesting idea. But again, one that is definitely not taken too seriously since, you know, again, it didn't really have much of a following. I guess a lot of people really saw the flaws behind this uh, concept, so they might have figured right from the get-go that maybe it wasn't worth following or worth their time to research on. And based on the research that I've done for this video, I can see and totally understand why people wouldn't want to follow something like this, because it's just the chances of it actually being a thing, the chances of it being real, were very slim to none. But regardless, I 
think this is a very interesting piece of dinosaur history right here. A very interesting topic to talk about. And it almost feels like a lost piece of dinosaur history in the sense that this concept was quickly forgotten after being introduced in 1975. I don't know about you, but I can't really find much else on it, and if I search it up on the internet, there's literally nothing but a few articles. Now again, this concept wasn't followed or anything, so it makes sense as to why it's not as big as other ideas in regards to dinosaurs or paleontology as a whole. But still, it's definitely one that I would like to know more about. So if you guys have any more information of this uh, idea or concept or just trunk sauropods in general, go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to read it. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for other cool dinosaur stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please have a nice day.